early morning. Well, it's really already 9 a.m., but working on yesterday's video. Just hanging out. Kayla's still asleep, sleeping in. Got the dogs on the couch with me, watching a little YouTube while I drink my coffee and get to editing. Happy Saturday. Kayla's finally awake. We're making a little breakfast. Getting some turkey bacon going. I'm going to eat some more banana bread. You getting a sneak bite? Yeah. Just break it. Are you gonna, or are you gonna just take a bite out of it? Banana bread for breakfast. It's worth that extra pound of weight that we put on yesterday for a slice of banana bread. The best kind of leftovers. Thai food. I just want what's coming to me. Make sure I get enough. <laughs> She's freaking. She's freaking. No. Okay, stop. Stop. I know it's all hot and humid. Had to get in, get her a walk in in between storms, but it doesn't look like it's gonna storm again. Ooh. Burning out. So let's make sure nobody's coming towards us. We're hiking. Thought we were out of the storms, but all of a sudden it's blowing back up on us. It's windy again and getting dark again. Hopefully we make it through our four miles. Uh -oh. Feeling raindrops, looking ominous. Will we complete the four mile challenge? A lot of people have been probably putting on weight during this quarantine. Yeah. Don't you think? Yeah. Just sitting around snacking and eating? No, I mean, I haven't eaten more, you probably. But you can also work out more. Yeah. God, it looks crazy on the GoPro. Can you see it? Yeah. With a twist out. Yeah. Definitely getting rained on. Not quite to four miles yet, but maybe this rain will stop and we can finish. I doubt it, though. We were just getting rained on. Now the sun's trying to peek its head out. What is happening? Sun's out. Storms. Yeah, gun's out. <laughs> Got a little wet, nice and refreshing. Now we're all dried off. We walked through that storm. Good thing I'm washing my hair today. Yeah, me too. All right, we're officially finishing it. We're getting in. Right under one hour, four miles even. We got rained on, it's been windy, it's been perfectly sunny, it's been humid. We've experienced all the seasons in one. And we got the four miles done in less than an hour. So far today, we've been just relaxing. We got our four mile walk in. Um, we just left and went uh, and dropped off a baby gift for one of Kayla's coworkers and pretty much her best friend. Um, surprised her with a little gift for their new upcoming baby and now we're back home getting cleaned up and then we are going to make some Rolo cheesecake bars. Uh, Kayla, Kayla saw this on Instagram or something and so we're going to try and make those um, and those look and sound delicious so that'll be a lot of fun. Uh, I got my new Tim Tracker shirt on. Just got it in the mail today. Uh, just went with the old first original Tim Tracker shirt. I'm uh, pretty excited about it. It feels nice and soft. You're already eating the Rolos. Yes. You're supposed to put these in the cheesecake. You only can eat one. The rest have to go in the cheesecake. Is it good? Thank you. Mm. Graham cracker crumbs, one cup of sugar, and two sticks of melted butter. Okay, so first we'll get a bowl and- There are two sticks of melted butter. Just melt me some butter. Melt you some butter? Layers the crust, one box of gram, one cup of sugar, and two sticks of butter melted. Two so sticks of butter combined melted. crust ingredients. Okay. Yes, yeah, so pour this into there. Well, give me a cup. Okay. Graham cracker. Let me go ahead and put the crust up in. <coughs> yeah. 
Go and put the sugar in there. So what's it? So it's gonna all combine together. Yeah. And line with foil and nonstick spray. Bake at 350 for eight minutes. Okay. So we got. Then just spread it evenly. Kind of looks like sand. Yeah. Like when you would build a sand castle. That's a bunch of crust. How many more, how many more have you eaten? I've eaten a couple halves. So you've got it below eight ounces? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, two eight ounces of cream cheese, okay. two eggs, one cup of sugar, one fourth cup of flour, and eight ounces of Rolos cut in half. Now we're gonna fold in or stir in the Rolos. I'm gonna start it out down on one side. Sure. Pour over top of crust. Bake at 350 for 30 minutes. 30 minutes on the clock. Okay. 30 minutes. Ooh, puppy. What do you think? Yeah, it looks good. And now we just eat this whole bowl. Yeah. Mmm. Is it good? <laughs> yeah, that butter in there. Yeah, I mean, it's any kind of chocolate, so. Yeah. Doesn't it taste better with the, you can't taste the difference because of the butter? Yeah, ma'am. So I think it'll be good as a topper, don't you? Mm-hmm. Even though it's not milk. Mmm. Yeah, I don't think the chocolate matters. Like, you could have done some dark chocolate in there if you really wanted to. Sure. Just kind of all over. I don't think she was placing them. I think she was just, like, kind of sprinkled them throughout. But you can do systematic if you want it. Looks good. Into the fridge it goes. Oh my god. It's been in the fridge for a little while now. It's starting to harden up. I think we're going to go ahead and put the caramel drizzle on it. Oh, who gets to lick that? This will be good on ice cream. Mm-hmm. Look it. Is it any good? Oh yeah. Mmm. Mmm. 
But you think it's been in there long enough? Oh yeah, because we're just going to stick it right back in there overnight. This could be the cover image. You going to go the other way too? Yeah. Oh yeah. You're an artist. Yeah, look, it's like, what do you think? Is that good? I guess, do you want to put any more? Okay. I think you did good. You gonna stick it back in there? Or you can, there you go. You need to do it. We can check on it again in a little while. Mm -hmm. mm. All right, here's the finished product. We got the caramel drizzle on there, cheesecake, and the chocolate have all set up. All you do now is take this bad boy out and slice it into little squares and enjoy. I cannot wait to eat most of this.